Hi guys, so the last Trading 212 update I did was almost three months ago. It was at the start of June and I figured it's time firstly to make another one. And secondly, it feels well-timed because if you saw my last shorts updates, they have just reopened registrations in the UK again. That basically means if you've been wanting to try out Trading212 and to sign up, you can do so now without a waiting list. Uh, if you want a free share whilst doing it, obviously my link is down below. I know I posted it on my story a little bit before they actually reopened. Um, it was only a few hours, but I know some of you still got the waiting list. Um, it should all be working fine now. I've been getting free shares again, so I know that it's all going through. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's kick off with the invest account. So first up, it's AMD. 7.9 shares, which is basically no change from the last update. I'm currently up 14.2%, which equals about £73.75. As I've mentioned in the last update, it has crashed quite significantly um, from its previous high, but I'm still hoping it will get back to where it was. Amazon next, no change for me on Amazon. Um, it does look like there's been a change purely because they had a stock split, um, but I've got 7.3 shares, um, so about 800 pounds. I'm down 4.4% on Amazon, uh, which is about 37 pounds 70 down. Beyond Meat next, again, one where I've made no changes. I'm just hoping that it recovers at some point. 1.19 uh, shares uh, down 78% almost, just under, uh, which is actually 88 pounds. But if this is your first time here, this was a more of a gamble investment than anything else. Enphase, I have added two Enphase. So I've got 0.43 shares at the moment which is a 0.062 share increase from last time. I'm up 64.5% on this one, uh, which is just under 42 pounds up. So Enphase has been doing really well for me. Next, iShares Electric Vehicles ETF. So no change in terms of the holding, still holding 40.94 shares, uh, currently only up by 0.7%. Uh, which is about £1.50. Again, I do think that for me is a very long-term one. I just genuinely think EVs are the future. National Grid next. So I've added quite a bit to this one. So I've got 32.57 shares at the moment, which is 21 and a half shares more than last time. So quite a significant increase here. Um, purely from a dividend perspective, nothing else. Uh, they are a fairly good dividend player. Uh, so currently down 3%, which isn't too bad, but as you can see, they're fluctuating quite significantly at the moment. Um, but again, for me, it's about their dividends. I think I've got like, I'm actually going to check so I don't lie to you. £35 of dividends from them this month. Royal Mail next. Uh, again, one that I've added to uh, quite a bit. So 39.66 shares here at the moment which is an additional 10.8 shares since last month. Um, so in terms of shares, more so than actual pounds. Um, but I'm currently down 37% on Royal Mail, so not doing too well. Um, it's actually, if you can see the max here, dropped quite a bit, but that's actually why I've added more. Again, Royal Mail for me, dividend player. As you can see, currently it's a 6.25% dividend. Shell next. so. 12.8 shares here, which is an increase of 1.973 since my last update, and currently up 14.3%, so doing fairly well. Again, Shell also good for dividends. And last but not least on my invest account, Unilever, so 79.7 shares, which is an increase of 19 shares since my last update. So currently sitting at £3,100 in this one and currently sitting at 0.29% up, uh, which is 0.26% oh, up, which is £8. Now, Unilever lately is fluctuating a lot for me, uh, but again, for me, they are a dividend stock, so 3.67% uh, dividend yield at the moment. 
So in total, about £6,000 invested here. And then if we move on to my ISA, um, again, you can see here about 5K invested and currently worth about 6K also. Um, so overall up 17.3%, which is a return of about £863. Um, so on this one, I'm going to start off with the ones I've made changes to, um, just in case you're not really interested in the others. And within this ISA, obviously I can't top up this account anymore because my ISA this year was with someone else. But whenever I get dividends, I do invest them into my portfolio. So the only positions I've made changes to here are my Vanguard S&P 500 ETFs. So first one is uh, VUSD, where I've got 2.21 shares, uh, so about £144, currently up 6.87%. And that is an increase of 0 0.6 shares since my last update. And then the proper one, uh, VUSA, I've got 15.18 shares which is an increase of 0.35 of the share since my last update. Uh, currently worth about £990 and up 8.9%, which is about £80. So now if you're interested, um, I'll just run through the remainder of the positions on screen like this. So um, Abvi currently probably the best performing one on here, 72.2% um, up. Um, which is only about £27 because uh, my investment in them wasn't that big. Um, Google uh, up 1.24% at the moment, uh, which isn't a lot. Uh, Apple up 44.4%, which is pretty good. Uh, I've got about £100 in them. AT&T not really recovering um, at all. Uh, it's just constantly down for me. Um, but only got about £13 in them at the moment here, uh, so down 29%. Comcast down 6.8%, um, so just under £5 down, uh, but Comcast for me, again, was purely a dividend investment. Uh, Dover up 15%, but again, a very small amount invested. Ah, and Viva, 76, almost 76% up on Enviva, so actually beating Abvi. Um, so only £25 because I only have one share, um, but pretty decent profit um, in terms of percentage. Uh, Core Fitzy 100 up 9.8%, uh, so just under £20 up, uh, with £200 invested overall. Uh, physical Silver not doing great, uh, down 29%. Currently, uh, which means I've got about £100 uh, invested at the moment. Johnson & Johnson, uh, finally seeing quite a good plus on here. So plus just under 19%, uh, which is just under £100 up um, and total worth of £629. Microsoft, uh, £66 invested, of which £16 is profit, uh, so 32% up. National Grid again. So this is where I got like £32 out of the 35 uh, dividend of this month. Uh, so I've got 94.8 shares, uh, currently up 22.5%, which is just under £200 up and just over £1,000 invested. Realty income, my biggest investment in my ISA here, so 32.09 shares up 25%, uh, which is just under £400 up, and total worth of 1903 Royal Mail down 40% at the moment, um, but only nine shares here, so only about £17 down. Starbucks, uh, two shares down 6.5%, uh, so about £150 in total. Tesla up 87%, so actually Tesla's probably winning the highest increase here. Uh, up £56, uh, so total overall £121 invested. Uh, and then you can see the last two here are the Vanguard ones that I've already mentioned. So that was my Trading212 portfolio update. Uh, any questions, just give me a shout in the comments. And don't forget, if you want to sign up, link is down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.